Okay, now the really fun part begins. This is definitely not recommended to try by yourself. I'm gonna film it just in case we have a tremendous disaster. <laughs> First, I'm gonna widen out the fork so we have a more stable platform. It's in. We can widen this one at least one notch. This is definitely gonna be sketchy. These aren't super long forks, but they should fit halfway in the topper, somewhere around here. We gotta come in, lift it up, back up, lift it up here, set it on the back, try to slide it in. Okay, we're gonna really MacGyver this. I'm gonna strip these four by fours to the front of the pallet so that I can stick them under the top at a downward angle so I don't break that rear glass. Use what I got, and right now I got some caution tape. Don't try this at home, guys. Here we got our setup. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. These forks aren't that long, and we got this window I don't wanna break off. Well, I think it's gonna work, but this thing's barely hanging on, so I gotta be real <laughs> careful. can say about that guys is it worked <laughs> scary but it worked all right I'm gonna make sure all the seals are lined up she'll be right back on there this just seemed to make sense for me and I think it was the right trick hold the forks at the right angle to lift this up blind I really could have used the spotter but we made it happen And we lined it up perfectly. We're gonna be getting into some survival and backcountry bushcraft tactics here. Your vehicle is part of your everyday carry. This truck, I'm selling it, but I had to pull out some tools from my other truck to bring here. What I brought was the jumper. At bare minimum, I'm gonna carry a jumper, jumper cables, camera stuff, food, drinks, sunscreen up here in the mountains is paramount. Tape measure, more water, extra layers. This is the new suspension for the new truck. You guys will see that here shortly. We got a bucket, rain jacket, uh, slightly warmer jacket. You gotta remember, I live up here in the mountains where the temperature, they can fluctuate wildly overnight throughout the day. Also, you always, always, I always, always carry a socket set. This is my first socket set ever. My parents, my father gifted this to me when I was a teenage boy. I've kept it ever since. The case, the top case is broken, but everything's still in here. We're missing just one little socket. Basic toolbox, knife, all kinds of odds and ends. This stuff goes with me everywhere I go. I just can't for the life of me understand how people can drive around with nothing in their vehicles. Sure, their cars are nice, clean, shiny and armor all, but they don't go into the woods. And apparently they also don't take care of themselves either. None of this stuff I did today, I could have done without the tools I carry every day. Be smart, carry what you need. You gotta be able to take care of yourself, self-rescue, self-fix as best you can. I'm not the most mechanically inclined person out there, but I'm trying to learn as much as I can and be as prepared as possible. Got to get all four of these side clamps bolted on here. I've had it for almost 20 years now. You can see these latches are long gone. 
I like the fact that these slide out. I have separate compartments for, for fuses, bolts, screws, nails, all kinds of random little stuff. The trouble is these fall out, which is a real pain in the butt. But if anybody's got a good suggestion for an awesome toolbox that can take a fuse, I mean, this thing's got to survive. It's got to survive the trail. This thing, 20 years? of being used like this and it's still holding strong. So if you know something that'll work this well for this long, drop a comment below and let me know what it is. To see the new Tacoma build and follow the journey, watch the video right here.